Hi everybody, YouTubers, friends, fellow subscribers. Thank you so much for the subscriptions and the support. I really appreciate it. Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about WalkSafe. WalkSafe is an app that I developed. I hate to use the term developer because I'm first a mom and then a physical therapist and then a runner. Uh, but today, I will say I did develop my first app, released it a couple of weeks ago um, into the iTunes store. Sorry guys, it's not available yet on Android, um, but it is available in iPad version and iPhone version. And it's been a, been a long time coming. I was able to use a platform called uh, Red Foundry, um, which helped me because I, I don't know really any objective C, um, but it's kind of a user-friendly platform, a lot of drag and drop. Um, and with some help with some friends along the way, I was able to get it done. So this has been a vision for a long time. I really wanted to create something to help patients and families and people in general that are concerned about their walking balance um, and about the exercise they can do to help. So I've been a therapist for over 10 years and during that time I get a lot of the same questions, um, especially in the home care realm where I'm coming in and helping people that are concerned about falling in the home or just what they can do to be uh, safer walkers. So when, we, when we're in these consultations, I get the same questions over and over and over and over again. And really that's why I created WalkSafe was to um, have a way th uh, to answer these questions and have an exercise program that you could follow along with in the video format. Because I love the video format, I love YouTube. Um, I really do because I think seeing something and following along with it uh, is the, really the best thing you can do. So the video, the, the app itself is very video laden. It's got 40 videos, including exercise, including um, assisted devices. There are seven that I profiled, five have videos and two have some information for you. So the app is going to help you if you need a walker. Um, it's going to help you choose an assistive device. It's going to give you a balance test that tells you whether or not you would benefit from an assistive device, um, in what circumstances, uh, which one, etc. Of course, you, know, you always want to talk to your doctor and physical therapist about, uh, you know, about your about your safety and about your health. But this is uh, something that you can have in your hand that will give you all the exercises you need. It'll give you all the information that you need. And again, it has that test with it that that I think makes it really nice, uh, give you the direction that you, that you want to go in of when to use the assistive device and what kind that you want to pick. So come with me. Uh, it's been developed both, again, on the iPad and on the iPhone. I think um, if you have an iPad, it's, it's wonderful for the seniors if they want to follow along with the exercise program on the iPad. But of course, everyone's got their iPhone with them at all times. So if, whether you're a patient uh, or a caregiver, uh, if you're a caregiver, you can lead your patient through the exercise routine on this. It's a great option. I'm going to give you some screenshots of the actual app, but for now, I'm going to kind of lean it toward you here, and you can see the little icon right there of the person with the cane is actually my WalkSafe app. We're going to open it up. And the first section is tips. And you see grandmother here is going to give you some tips on home safety, walking safety, medication safety, and better balance. The second page is going to lead you through, it's going to say walkers, it's a walkers icon. And it's going to show you all the different assistive devices. I'm um, catching a little bit of a glare here. But it's going to show you all the different devices and when you touch on them, it's going to lead you to the next page where I'm going to show you in a video format. If I click play here, you're going to be able to watch and see how to adjust each device and learn a little bit about it. And if you don't like the video, if you're having a problem with your, with your Wi-Fi, certainly you can follow along with this, the uh, written section here. The next icon is the test. And you're going to go through, oh, looks like we're on question seven right now. But if we click test again, it's going to go to the front page, which is going to be your start button if you need some help on the test. It's going to be a little bit of a verbal 
or written instruction rather on how to score a couple of the questions, you actually do need to get up and, and take the test. Don't just answer the test on what you think uh, you're able to do, but actually get up and, and, uh, and do the test physically. But I'm not going to go through each question. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Couldn't quite hit my back button there. Um, but at the end, it's going to pop out a score, and um, if you click on results, it's going to show you what your results actually mean uh, in terms of what kind of assistive device you need to use and, and when you should use it. And again, of course, it's not a substitute for a doctor or a physical therapist, but it's great hands-on information. All right, the last section is going to be an exercise program here, and you can see it's going to be both for strength and for flexibility. And if you click on there, there's going to be a database. We've got 9 or 10 here on the flexibility section. And then there's going to be just about 30 on the strength. And they'll be in alphabetical order. And when you click on them, you're going to see, <laughs> you're going to see me holding onto the walker. I did show a lot of the exercises um, holding onto the walker since many of the people I imagine that would be using this application would require a walker. Obviously, that's um, central uh, to the app is choosing an assistive device to to make your life to make your life safer and to obviously to walk safe. That's the name of the app. So, anyway, I welcome questions, comments, feedback. I hope this app is going to be the first of many apps that I do, uh, and I and I really have enjoyed the whole process of it. Uh, again, using Red Foundry was uh, very helpful for somebody that's a, really uh, not a, a non-coder, um, but it's um, it's got some 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 great things in it, and I hope you guys like it and comment on it and tell your friends. And thank you for listening to this. We'll see you next time. Bye.